Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a peanut butter pie with an Oreo crust for the holidays or really any occasion. You're going to want to start off with 8 ounces of cream cheese and this is much easier to work with when it is softened so keep that in mind. Next you'll need 3 4th cup peanut butter and you're just going to add this to the bowl with cream cheese. Now you're going to combine the cream cheese and peanut butter and it can be a challenge using just a spoon or whisk so I would recommend using a handheld mixer and this can make it much easier and quicker because the two substances are kind of hard to work with. Next you're going to need 3 4th cup powdered sugar and be careful with the powdered sugar because um, it can easily make a mess and get all over. Um, but for a tip on how to keep your kitchen clean, check out my baking hacks video. You're just going to want to combine the powdered sugar and you're going to add one cup of whipped cream. To measure the whipped cream, I just filled it a little past one cup and then I used a spoon to pack it down and make sure I had an accurate measurement. You're just going to add this to the mixture and just blend it well. Now you're going to get out your Oreo pie crust and you're just going to carefully spoon the mixture into your crust. I made this crust homemade but you can also do one from the store. It's actually really easy to make it at home. All you need are Oreos and some butter, and you just grind the Oreos up, throw in some melted butter, and it's really just as easy as buying one from the store. You're just going to want to smooth your pie filling, and once it is flat, you're going to add some more whipped cream, and this is your next layer. The recipe I followed said half a cup, but I ended up adding much more just because I wanted a thick layer of whipped cream. Then I went ahead and did a line of whipped cream around the border um, to cover up the sides of the pie crust. You're going to take some Reese's peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on. This is optional, but I think it adds to the pie and makes it look more put together. And also, I used some Reese's Pieces. You can get creative with how you lay out your candies on top. I sprinkled them along the top and then I went ahead and did a border of Reese's Pieces. Um, so just get creative with that. It really depends on what kind of pie you're making and how you want it to look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And more importantly, I hope you enjoy the pie if you're going to make one of these.